What's going on YouTube? I'm back in our Sam and um today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to duplicate an app. So first um you install the iFile from Cydia um by just uh, adding the source which is iHacks.com. Sorry, iHacksReport.com. Um you add the source and add app files. So I file and then I file will look something like this. So go ahead and open it up. And if I'm not wrong, this will be your home page right here, this one. Um then you go into applications. Um just press this button right here, it's the settings button. Then file manager and uh, application name should be turned on it will be off to and just just turn it on and then just click done and then you can see the names of your applications because they'll be in numbers um, if you if your application name was off so then select the game you want to duplicate i'm just going to do a small game so then um, sorry about that. So I'll just do um, a game like um, my sketch. So I'll just click on my sketch, and then it'll be in sketch project app. Um, this is the application right here, sketch project, um, which I've selected. So I'll go ahead, and click edit, and select the app, which says dot app, not library documents or TMP. Only the one which says dot app. And, and then select iTunes artwork and click on the clipboard and select copy slash link and done. Go back to your applications, mobile, um, then go to your documents, installers, um, downloads, and um, just create a little um, folder right here using this little plus button and name it whatever you want. I've created one already. Um, I just create one more. So then it's created. Just click on done. Go to to the whatever we have named it. Edit. Um, click the clipboard and paste it here, right here. So it'll. It might take a long time depending on the size of the app. It wasn't a big app, so it didn't take a long time. So then once it's become like this, just click done. Um, you will see two things right here which I just uh, copied and pasted. Now go ahead and click edit. Click the plus button and add this. This is really um, important. It, you should name it as payload. It has to be named as payload. And the P should be in capital letters. P right here, it should be in capital letters. Um, then once you've done that, create it. So payload will be right there. And then click on this little clipboard. Um, sorry. Um, click on your app first, the dot app, and then the clipboard. And call, um, sorry about that. Click on it and just cut. And then go to payload, edit, and um, paste it right here so it will be pasted right there then go to the app into the app and search for info info.plist the one right here it says info.plist it will say that for all your apps so go ahead and open that up using property list viewer and then search for cf bundle name it will right here it says cf bundle name go ahead and click that um, this is optional uh, you can change to whatever you want that will become the new name of the app so um, i'm just going to name it as tutorial then and then the next thing you have to go for is bundle identity so you can just say it's going to be bundle identity because you can see the id e n t i so then click on it this is not optional you have to do this, it is essential. Um, you can type in whatever you want here, do not erase anything, just type in a few words. 
um, and then go back and click on done. So it will be saved. Um, go back to payload and then click on edit. Um, select both them and um, make them into a zip file. I'll just call it um, tutorial and uh, create it so it will compress. It won't take a long time. Again, it depends on the size of your app. The app's not too big. So here it is, the tutorial.zip. Click on done, and then uh, enter the app by clicking the little blue button right here. Click the blue button, um, and uh, erase the zip part. It says tutorial.zip. Erase the zip part and type in IPA. Remember, erase the zip part and type in IPA, and done. So come to tutorial.ipa, then click on edit, select the tutorial.ipa, um, and um, cut. And we just want to move the previous page, which is in the downloads, and um, edit and um, paste it right here. So it has been renamed and done, because I already had a tutorial.ipa. So you have to cut it from where you had saved it and put it back to downloads. So once you've done that, um, go ahead and open up installers. Um, then go to your downloads. Um, it'll be right here, tutorial.ipa. That's what I've named it. It's then you can go ahead and install it. While it's installing, I'll just show you that I already have the app. Um, right here my sketch um i've already um you know made a copy of instagram and um i've named it insta pick it still works and um i have two fruit ninjas you see right here i have two fruit ninjas so let's go back to install this So it's installed. So we'll just okay. So you see here, it's I've got tutorial right here. Um, remember, I named it tutorial. I'll just open it up and show you that it still works. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, so I'll just take one from the library. Just select it. I'm just going to do some play something. So you can see that it actually works. This is how it actually is. Um, you want to even show you the um, the original one how it works. So I'm just going to the original one right now. So it looks exactly the same because it's just being duplicated. So I can actually save it. I'll just save it now. So it says your image has been saved. Okay. Um, 
So yeah, so the application has been duplicated and uh, InstaPic also works, um, so does Fruit Ninja. And I have a Fruit Ninja hack, that's why I've been duplicating two Fruit Ninjas, one's the original and the other one's a hack. If you want to know more about the hack, I'll give a link in the description to my video about the hack. Okay guys, um, I'll just show you that I in open my sketch plus a tutorial. Okay guys, so that's about it. So please like, comment below and subscribe. Subscribe to my other channel, which is Transfer Life Up. You get nothing but pure trance right there. And um, yeah, add me on PS Network if you want to. Um, if you have a PS3 or a PSP or the PSN ID, I'll give my ID name in the description. And follow me on Twitter. I'm not so active, but yeah, you can still add me. So yeah, from that kind of sense, sign up.